The first problem is uneven beveling. This usually happens when your object has non-uniform scale. You may notice that some edges bevel more than others even though you're applying the bevel the same way. To fix this, simply select your object in Object Mode, press Ctrl A and choose Apply Scale. This resets the scale to 1, 1, 1 and ensures consistent bevel behavior across the entire mesh. The second issue is bevel glitches caused by duplicate vertices. This often happens when you've joined multiple meshes or extruded carelessly. To fix this, go into edit mode, press A to select all, then go to mesh cleanup merge by distance. Blender will automatically merge overlapping vertices and clean up your geometry. Next is the face normal error, which can cause weird shading or flipped bevels. To check for this, enable face orientation in the viewport overlays. If you see red faces, they're pointing inward. In edit mode, select the red face in face select mode, then press shift N to recalculate the normals, that will fix the direction and solve any bevel problems caused by reversed faces. The fourth problem is bevels overlapping themselves, creating ugly intersections. When beveling with Ctrl B, make sure to press C to enable clamp overlap. This prevents the bevel from going too far and overlapping into adjacent geometry, especially in tight corners or small edges. Last but not least is weird topology around corners. Sometimes your bevel creates awkward edge loops or non-uniform curves. After beveling, press F9 to bring up the bevel options, and under Miter Outer, change the mode to Arc. This gives you a much cleaner and more natural looking corner transition. If you want to learn more about beveling methods, check out this video now.